Hello, welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, today's inventor tip is how to change multiple eye properties at one time. Uh, we all know probably the, the basic way is to go over a part, open up the eye properties window, and run through and change whatever description, part number um, you may want. But as you may or may not know, if you want to change the physical properties, you have to open the part exclusively, which uh, can be a tedious process going through uh, dozens of different parts if you need to update materials, descriptions, things like that. So, um, you know, why are properties important? Well, you know, that's where all the information comes, especially uh, if you want to create a drawing. Um, if you want an updated uh, description material list so yeah I properties uh, definitely need to be filled out and every company has what standards are important to them so you know how do we how do we go through and update multiples at one time so it, it's you know it's not necessarily a, a hidden tip but uh, some people just don't realize this is uh, a possibility so uh, I'm in the assembly I'm just going to open the bill of materials so here in the bill of materials uh, you have your model data uh, your structured or parts only um, bill of materials I'm going to right now be working in my parts only so out of the box you're going to get your part number uh, bomb structure quantity uh, unit quantity quantity and description but I, I also want to update my materials so I can come up here to the column chooser and let's move this up here and let's just uh, for right now um, I'm going to work on the material so I'm just going to left click hold and drag it up here where I want it and that looks good so here's a um, you know here's a couple like even uh, the bolt here I'm I, I just say I don't want mild steel I'm going to double click on that and here is my available materials so I'm gonna change that bolt to stainless steel and, um, and it's done so you know the nice part about that is um, and everything is I, I can there's a couple things you can do here just um, I can uh, you see this uh, I have the material highlighted there's a little box and there's a little dot down there in the bottom right hand corner when I put my cursor over it and I get my four-headed arrow I can left click hold and drag down and it'll copy it down you can go down as far as you like if I want to bring it down um, if, I, if I want to bring it down even further um, I can just keep coming down to something you know I probably don't want that toggle um, stainless but regardless the other thing is I can control C and let's come up here to this bolt and control V so you can copy and paste that way also, and it's it's really um, it's really a valuable asset. Uh, the other thing is you may or may not know you can you can change any one of these properties. So I can come in here and um, change any of the descriptions that I want. So um, you see my part number here. Uh, yeah, maybe that's something I want for my description. So I'm just going to Control C instead of a uh, hexagon socket head cap screw yeah that's better you know I got a number 1024 UNC that's more what I'm looking for same situation down here so I can just control C and control V and uh, I'll do it for this one too control C so now you know I'm just gonna say done uh, I'll say save and uh, well, I can't save it because I happen to have this open right now. Uh, let me uh, let me close the drawing. I'll just say no for now. So I'll save an update, and I'll come into let's see, uh, let's try one of the cap screws. That one there. If I go to my eye properties, and I'll look at the project you'll see that my description has changed when I did the copy paste uh, my physical materials change to stainless steel so it's a really nice way to go through very quickly update uh, a lot of properties at once um, you can put your um, 
you can put any, anything you want in here. You can actually add your uh, your custom I properties. If you have any custom I properties, you can add those up here. So uh, something to keep in mind. Quick, easy, and you can do it all in one shot. And don't forget to copy paste, and also uh, the drag function when you want to come down and maybe change uh, all or or some or none. So uh, I certainly don't want to keep that one, but uh, I won't save this. Uh, so that's it. Uh, hope you enjoy that one, and um, hope you get a lot of good use at it. Again, this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Have yourself a great day.